this heat, the threat of heat stroke or heat exhaustion increases your chance uh, of having a heat stroke or heat exhaustion. And you're encouraged to wear light, loose-fitting clothing to keep cooler. But what about those in uniform? WHLT's Katie Rowe spoke with members of the military to find out how they deal with it. As the summer continues, so do the high temperatures. But how dangerous is this extreme weather when it comes to the military and their training? We can have heat casualties even during the winter time, you know, with all the equipment and the training going on. But training methods can be flexible. And we put flags out so everybody knows what the heat category is, be it a green flag all the way through a black flag. And so that alters the way we train and also alters the uniform that we wear. And certain steps to cool down are required as well. We also have a trough system out here at certain training areas that's full of ice water. And as our troops come out of a training lane, we'll make them put their arms in the, uh, in the trough and hold it there for about a minute. According to Camp Shelby Medics, if you ever suffer from heat exhaustion, it could affect you in the future. When you go to like military schools, they'll mm -hmm. ask you, or they should ask you prior to if you've ever been a heat casualty. Mm -hmm. That way they know if you're prone to be in heat casualty again. Those medics also stress the importance of preparing your body days before you plan on being in heat. We also use a work rest cycle uh, to make sure that they get a proper amount of uh, rest, you know, during the training, especially in hard training. Connecting you to Pine Belt News, Katie Rowe, WHLT 22. Camp Shelby medics say if you have become overheated, you should drink liquids with electrolytes such as Powerade and Gatorade and put cool towels in key areas like under your neck, armpits, groin area and under the knees.